So in one of my previous videos, I had a little intro that I created and a couple people have already emailed asking how I created it. And this is what it looks like. And I created that intro with Final Cut Pro X. So it was really simple to do. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now in this video. Now I will say that that is a very simple intro. I mean, there's a lot more you can do with it. I just put it together in literally, you know, a minute or so. So you can do a lot more with it, but this is a great way to be able to do a quick intro to your videos in Final Cut Pro 10. And uh, I love Final Cut Pro 10, everything about it. And this is another great feature. So I started a new project and then I went over here to the title browser and clicked on that. And there's all kinds of different titles um, that you can do. Tons of different effects and titles. So definitely check these out. But I chose the blur and I just dragged it over to my timeline. And if I hit play, then it blurs in and out. So now what I want to do, once I've dragged it on my timeline, is just double click it. And you'll see the text right here is selected. So if I just highlight the text, I can change it. And type in anything I want. So now when we do this, it has my new text. Okay, so that's one of the first steps. Next, what you can do after you've changed your text is you can right click on the actual clip itself or what's even easier is right here in the corner there's a little arrow and if you click on that you can then click on edit effects so if we do edit effects here is the editing all the editing areas for this effect so you can do all kinds of different stuff you can change the opacity you can change the color so if we change the color let's do that right now let's make this one red like that and then go back so that's how you change the color and then there's a text button up here and so you can change the size of the text and you can change the font if you want to there's all kinds of different fonts I'll just leave it right here um, let's do bold and you could do the vertical alignment the spacing the tracking um, give it drop shadows glows all that kinds of stuff all that kind of stuff really simple and it's got other options here but that's uh, that's pretty good that's pretty much what I want to do with it and I just hit this little info button to close it so let's take another look at it and there we go that looks nice lastly I had a little sound effect so what I did there was I clicked on the little music icon here to load the music and sound browser and I actually I knew that my clip was about five seconds so I searched I clicked here on the time so I could have them in order and I searched for clips that are around five or six seconds and I found this whoosh 10 and if I you can hear it there so I like that sound clip for this particular one. So what I did was I just dragged it down and put it on my clip. And then it was just a matter of positioning it. So let's go ahead and play this and see if we have the right position for it. Still rendering a little bit, but uh, it's just about done. So then all we do is just make that to match the size and let's play it take another look there we go that's it that's all there was to it you know like I said it's a very simple title intro but literally you know when I made it the first time it literally took me about a minute it takes a little longer when I'm explaining everything but literally about a minute to make all from within Final Cut Pro 10 and then all I do at the end is just share it 
and click export movie and the settings I use for that are the H.264 settings and that creates a movie file that can then be imported into any other program um, also it can be used obviously in your other Final Cut Pro projects one other thing you could do if you want is to select these two clips if you're done and you you know that's exactly how you want it and just right click and then click on new compound clip and now they're together so that now the audio and the video are grouped together and then you have this you'll have this file that you can also add to all your other projects and use it anytime you want so that's how easy it is to create a very basic, simple intro for your videos in Final Cut Pro 10. Make sure and stay tuned because we're going to be covering a lot more tips, tricks, and tutorials on Final Cut Pro, including uh, advanced stuff and more basic stuff as well. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.